I am going to be surprising three of my kiddos with a closet makeover. I am talking makeover. I might actually take a little break and go with this cute girl right here to ask a boy to preference, is it? To a dance? Yeah. And I think I'm gonna get Navy to go with me shopping because, you know, they can help me. Oh my God, hurry, run. Okay, go Navy, go help Navy, hurry. We are a big family. My husband and I have 16 kids and we just vlog our crazy lives. So if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you just hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified anytime we post a video. Guys, I am so excited about today's video. So I am going to be surprising three of my kiddos with a closet makeover. I am talking makeover. So if you have watched my rush morning routine, you'll remember this. Can you change no. the top? I don't want to to change. Oh boy. I want we to this we need to do a closet overhaul. This looks please. Please. And then you'll remember this. Delaney June, we need to change your pants. Yeah. 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 Alright, so Miss Delaney June, the problem arises every morning. Somebody just wants to wear shorts every day. I, they don't care if it's rain. No, they don't care if it's in the middle of January. Oh, my mom's gonna be cold. Hmm, we need to kind of go through your clothes too. And then I was even dealing with this. I Dude, get ready. Oh, no. Okay, we can't find pants. This is an issue. Okay, I have way too many clothes in my kids' closet. I need to go through and junk. Not in here. Not in here. I'm not finding pants. Ah! I need to make some strategic purchasing because there are certain things that we don't have very many of that they wear all the time. So why do I have 50,000 of these items but no like pants that he has to wear to school every single day? I don't know. Just non-strategic purchasing I think actually. So this is what I am going to do. First of all, I'm going to show you the state that these three closets are in. Literally right now, I did not tell my kids anything about anything this morning and this is how they were left. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to go through each closet. I'm going to pull all of the things that don't fit them and put them in donations. I am going to go through anything that has like stains or things that they aren't wearing, things I just know that they never ever wear and pull them out of their closet. And then I'm going to make a list for strategic purchasing, as I mentioned before, of the items they really need, like their whole in their wardrobe. I'm gonna take you guys shopping with me to grab those things and then I'm going to come back and beautifully organize all of their closets and this will all be a big surprise. So the reveal of showing them their closets and their new wardrobes is going to be at the end. So first of all, let's get started. I am actually in Presley's room. I know Presley's room needs a room makeover so bad. But let me just show you her closet. Whoa, guys. Yeah. So. You can see on the floor, got some major disarray going on. I'm not really sure what's happening right here with some, I don't even know. Okay, that's bad. I'm not sure how Delaney's closet's gonna be. I'm a little afraid. Be afraid, be very afraid. <laughs> but hers is, all right, let's open it. Ooh, you guys are gonna see right along with me. Oh, actually, hers is not that bad. Like, I mean, it's definitely not great, but let me just tell you, every single morning, the little clip that you watched there, that is not any like, wow, that was one morning we were running late. No, 
every morning I have a conversation with Delaney about what she's wearing or what she's not wearing because she likes to wear shorts when it's freezing cold outside. She likes to wear the same shirts with her same Nike shorts every single day in a row. And I'm like, dude, you can't wear the same outfit. Oh, I don't I just only wear this t-shirt for a minute. Then I put a sweatshirt on. Anyway, she really, really is struggling. And so I am excited to get her closet to where we don't have to fight anymore. It's like, choose your battles. One thing I do not want to be battling over is clothes and what my kids choose to wear. That's like the least of my worries or theirs it should be. And so I'm gonna try to put things in her closet that I know that she'll like to wear, first of all. I am gonna be very careful about only this many shirts, this many pairs of shorts, this many leggings to go underneath the shorts, and so she's not hunting everywhere around the house for the same pair of leggings that she puts underneath all of her shorts. And I'm just gonna give her some more to choose from but very specifically what she likes. And so I'm gonna do that one now. I have my other closet. Ooh, I'm afraid of this one. As I showed you, this was the this was the closet I used for the non-strategic purchasing. And so let me just show you. This is Mr. Luke. Here's the deal with Luke's closet. So Luke goes to a private school in which he can only wear red, white, blue, black. So he has his certain clothes. This kid has one pair of pants to wear. I don't know why. I swear I bought him three or four at the beginning of the school year, but he's down to one, needless to say. So we're always hunting for the same pants. What the heck am I thinking? Like, my life is way too chaotic to have one pair of pants for my kids. And so, again, strategic purchasing. I am going to take my list of exactly what he needs to make our mornings easier, and dude, I am gonna kill it. He is going to be stoked that in the morning, he has a few different pairs of pants and a few different shirts to choose from for school, but then all of his, like, I don't know, maybe just day clothes, street clothes, whatever you want to call them, will be down there, and I'm just going to make sure that he has pants that fit him and clothes that fit him and things that aren't stained or just too small. Anyway, I am going to just make these guys' closets so much better and you know what? It's going to end up benefiting me because I'm the one that struggles every morning trying to get them ready when they can't find clothes and I am so for them to see the final product. All right, here we go, de-junking. Yikes, wish me luck. <sighs> Okay guys, this is Kismet. This is the saying on this closet door right here. Decisions determine destiny. Exactly, so now it is, boom, decision time for this mama. You know, I would suggest for at least my kiddos, me making the decisions, since I know like what they complain about, what they end up not wearing, what they end up wearing, I'm pretty confident to do that up to like my 12 or 13 year olds. If you guys like this video, leave a comment whose closet you want me to do next. I will totally do that, but I am thinking like over 13, 14, I will definitely need them there for this process. But for these guys, I'm just gonna surprise them. I'm pretty confident that I know what they wear, what they don't, what we're fighting about every morning sticks in here. So I think I will remember what they don't wear. So I'm gonna get rid of everything that she doesn't wear and keep what is in good condition and what she wears and what actually fits her. Keep that, get rid of the rest and start with a new clean slate. Okay, so first of all, what I think I'm gonna do is, um, <laughs> take the ponytail of hair off of the wall that is right now a decoration. Okay, I know this room needs a room makeover, okay? This is a fun dress of thing, but she's decided to put it up on her wall for decor. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go through each of these items, and first of all, I'm gonna put like items together, so t-shirts, sweatshirts, pants, shorts, all of that kind of stuff. Then I go through each one, decide if they're fitting her, not fitting her, or if I need to get rid of them. So, let's get started with that. Boom. Sports shirt.
Okay guys, so here's an example. I'm not even done going through all this, so there might even be some hiding, but look how many swimming suits this girl has. And 12, 12 swimming suits. People, this is crazy. I know we have a swim pool and she swims a lot, but 12, okay, this is why. Remember, we have 16 kids, and so they are constantly handing down. So what happens is these younger kiddos, they get a whole bunch of things that are handed down. So I can tell from a lot of these that they were like Navy's at one point, Delaney's at one point, Paisley's at one point, and they've all gotten handed down to her. And the problem is with hand-me-downs is a lot of times the kids just kind of do it themselves and I'm not able to kind of like mandate that. And so a lot of things get handed down that probably shouldn't. They kind of have seen their better day or it's time to donate them or just like it's crazy. Why have 12 swimsuits in your closet? And so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna choose my top three and the rest are going to donate. Okay, I lied. I'm going to keep five of them and I'm going to throw away seven. So that's pretty good, hopefully. Definitely do not need to buy her a swimming suit for a very long time. So as you can see, I am doing this with the pants, with the shirts, the shorts, the pajamas, everything in the closet. I am going to put like items together and determine what I need more of or what I definitely do not need any more of and junk the things that are no longer working for Presley. See, if I'm frustrated, I can't imagine how Presley feels every morning trying to get her stuff. I should have done this a long time ago, people. Okay guys, another thing is as I'm going through her stuff, there's stuff that I love for her, but literally it's a fight. Every time I get her, try to get her to wear it, and that's just crazy. I am just going to really keep in mind when I'm shopping the things that she always goes to. She goes to these like well-fitted little t-shirts well, like this one, I had to junk because this one just like shows her tummy every single time and I don't like that. So in my strategic purchasing, I'm going to put that I need to get her some well-fitted t-shirt type shirts because she always goes to these. I love this. I bought it for her for picture day and I just love it. And they're so in her now, she never wears. And so I have to just decide if I'm going to give up on that fight or if I'm gonna keep trying to fight to get her to wear things that she doesn't just naturally like herself. So it's kind of a no-brainer. I just gotta let it go. Give it to some cute little girl who will love her little puppy best. Anyway, I know it's hard, but again, decisions determine destiny. Do I want my destiny to be full of crazy mornings where kids are screaming and there's gnashing of teeth and wailing and whatever else you wanna call it? Because that's exactly what it feels like. H-E double toothpicks. So I do not want to have that be my destiny anymore for my morning routines. I wanna be able to get ready, have everybody happy. And here's the thing that I do. Every time I go through my kid's closet, if I find an item that's like special to me or have special memories of my child wearing that item, I give myself permission to choose like one keepsake item from like every stage, especially when they're just little tiny. Just like it's so cute, you'll just hold up a little pair of overalls or like this big and suddenly you have a flashback and you remember your child. And you know those items that your kids wear and they never stop wearing it, they like wear it for an entire year every single day and you're fighting for them to wear something different but they won't. Those are the items I keep because they will always have fond memories of it and so will you. Okay guys, I am finally done with Presley's closet. I have my keeps. I have my humongous pile, look at this pile. This humongous pile of things that literally she hasn't worn for years and that they've just been sitting in her closet. And so I'm done. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing to Delaney's closet and to Luke's closet and then I'm going shopping. Keepsakes. Well, I gave you all my love and I gave you all my trust and I gave you everything that you need. That you need. But you only told me lies and you made me realize that, babe, you ain't no good for me. I can't be with you, you can't be true. I didn't do this by myself. Children, if you're watching this, 
big gift. Big gift from your mother here. You can't play me twice the same. Who do you think I am? Well, I'm going to take my own road. And I'm sorry, baby, you can't go. Again, the opportunity to get rid of things that you personally don't like. <laughs> they have to argue over ring. Cassidy, thanks, so no thanks, Cass. Gotta hit the ground. Okay, making my list now for Luke. He definitely needs pants. Pants for school. So I'm gonna have to go through the laundry, but I think that he needs a couple more shirts for school too. He literally has no clothes. Like after going through this, so many of it is too small for him. Like I don't know why. Anyway, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I should have done this a long time ago. Okay guys, the older kids are getting home from school, so I have got to hurry, but I might actually take a little break and go with this cute girl right here to ask a boy to preference, is it? To a dance? Yep. And I think I'm gonna get Navy to go with me shopping because, you know, they can help me. Choose all the fun stuff, so here we go. We just drove by his house and his garage door was open. So we have to wait a second. Listen to this story. So last time, this is Janie's boyfriend's little brother, right? And last time she made me go up and bring it to their door and I slipped down all the stairs and they saw it on their camera and they came out and the dad saw me. <laughs> okay, okay, mom, stay like back here. Wait, no. Is this the one? Yes, this is oh. the house. Perfect. No, no. Sir, hurry, run. Okay, go Navy, go help Navy, hurry. Yes, yes run. hurry. Get out of the day. Go, go, go. You're not even out of the car. Go, 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 go. Right now, this baby. Run, oh. go, go. Oh, gosh, guys. Oh. <laughs> now, Navy about fell. Go, go, go. What are you doing? He can't see you. Okay. That was stressful. <laughs> Maybe about five. I literally went like this. <laughs> okay, that was stressful. But now, get your seatbelts on. It's time to go to the mall and go do some shopping. Feels like you've been using me. Feels like you've been using me. This is so cute, but not strategic purchasing. Marksman Angel I think my heart's in danger Made me feel like I was safe and sound Then switched up and switched off the safety How you plan? How you plan? Oh, yeah Oh, feels like you've been using me Just what I was doing when they saw the bags and bags of clothes out yeah. in the hallway. And I was giving one. But we are ready finally to reveal. Are you excited? Yeah. Woo! Okay, now listen, this is the only rule. 
cool with this. You've got to please oh keep it clean. I work nice. Okay, I've labeled it. I've done everything I can to help her be able to keep it clean and organize herself. You ready? Okay. shirts. All of them are very fitted in the middle because I know that you like the fitted shirts. Think about this. Every morning you just get to choose from these and they all fit you and they're all like ready to wear. And then I have stains. Usually I'm trying to it. find what clothes to wear. I now know. I'm going to be feeling like, okay, which one should I wear? That one's okay. okay. That one's you know okay. what's like so exciting about these? So uh, a lot of these have things that match it. So watch this. So these shorts. So cute with the sticky shirt. Yeah. And look at these pants. So cute with these right here. Do you love it? Yeah, do you love them? Are you speechless? Yes. <laughs> oh, I've actually been wanting one of these. I know. So then I used wear... to have one, but then I got like something happened with this, yes. so now I lost so them. And then shoes, a couple pair of shoes. These are jammies. Oh. I mean, they're actually like a cute sweat set, but they are it's also so super soft. soft for jammies. Like it? Is. So yeah. I am so excited for you. Okay. Tomorrow, I mean, we have for my the best outfit to wear because tomorrow's my walking Wednesday. Dude. Oh boy, I don't know how you're gonna choose. All right. Can you keep it clean? Yeah. Are you so excited? Yeah. I went through your swimsuits. I'm sorry I had to get rid of seven, but I did keep five. All your soccer stuff is here. All your cheer and dance clothes right here. So you are set and ready to go. Yay! All right, guys. On to Delaney. closet I think like so far this is gonna be one of my favorites because your closet looks amazing so this is the deal and this is the same deal I said with Presley you gotta keep it that way I have filled in all the gaps in your wardrobe all the things that you love to wear I gave you cute things Wait, what? Wait, what? you were always wearing the same jerseys the same shirts with like the one or maybe two pair of shorts and you would just like switch off right which basically these so I that have mean you restocked me with jeans. No, no. I, well, I don't know. You're gonna have to see. This girl hates jeans. Are, are you excited to see it? Yes. Oh my god! Are you dying? Yes. This is the best. Thank you, mom. You're welcome. Look. All the fun stuff. Okay, so I got you two new jerseys. Because yes. you love jerseys, right? And so yes. I got you those. And then look at this. This is for the weekend. This is only the clothes you can only wear when you have a game or it's the weekend. No school clothes. Okay. Okay, now look at this. I got you all these sweatshorts. So here's this mm -hmm. one, okay. cute, nice. And there's a dark pink pair. Okay. And then, so then we fold them nice. Perfect. Look at you already knowing how to do it. Now can you put that lid on? Good job. Now I look. I don't know if it's gonna stay for now, this so long. It will, it will. You're gonna you wait, what? JK. JK, you better be JK. Ooh. Blue. Blue. Do you like those? Yes. Ooh. These would have to be perfect. You only said I can only wear shorts even when it's cold if they're long. Yeah, they're long. You don't Turn them around. Yes. Purple. Those are cool, Gray. curly ones. These and are the ones I've been begging you for, and you're like, yeah, no, yeah. you can't get them. You, oh, really? That's what I said? No. You better you not be making fun them. of me, child. I spent a lot of money on these clothes. I'm not. <laughs> I got you a brand new pair of pajamas right Ooh. there. They're super soft ones. And especially because they're long sleeve, because it's yeah. so cold that night, but I still keep on my pants. Yeah, you will like them. I don't know why I do that. Do you like them? Yes. Perfect. And shorts. Because you and your shorts. I didn't Me even get you jammies or pants. I got them with shorts. 
Yes, look at you, girl. You'll be able to keep like this. And what I did is I just kind of, I pulled them kind of a little bit forward. So it's right against this part right here. And it looks so nice. Now, dude, I'm gonna show you all your new clothes. All right, are you ready? First of all, I got this church dress for you right here. Church dress. Just black and white, super cute. There's your church dresses. I got this one new for you. Ooh, yes. This one new. This will go with these purple, like, like the light purple jersey shorts. Ooh. It'll be cute. And this Nike so one. Print. Yeah, you like that? Yes. Lily chose that one for you. Okay, this one I got, it would look cute with these blue shorts or those on the bottom. And these will be cute with blue. Mm -hmm. Do you like that one? Yes. And so it's she like, has a, like soft. It's and, like, like super thin. softy. Like so it's sporty, huh? Yeah. It's a really nice texture. Delaney's really into textures. I got this one. Goat. Goat. What does goat stand for? Greatest of all time. Delaney! <laughs> Do you like it? It'll be nice. So nice. And dude, look at this. Like it'll be so easy for you to get dressed in the morning. I just like whoop, yep. instead of like just throwing them off the hangers. Yes. Yeah, that's the big thing. I graduated you to the bigger hangers too, so they won't fall off the hangers so easily. <laughs> Let's make a pledge. Put your arm up with us. See, I pledge. I what? Look at that dirty hand. That girl is a sporty girl. She's pledge. ready to play basketball anytime. I pledge. I pledge. To never. To never. Wear my weekend. Wear my weekend clothes. Clothes. Like jerseys. Jerseys. School shirts. School shirts. Or basketball Wait, school jerseys. Shirts. Mm -hmm. Not till Friday. Just that's Friday because yep. it's school spring. Exactly. Week. Not till the weekend, which is Friday and Saturday, right? Mommy, mommy, mommy. Just come kick in my room. Um, we have a problem in Houston, people. During the pledge, Ledger just handed me a cupcake. Wait, buddy, let's not. Uh -uh. Oh, let's get cupcake. Let's go. Let's go wash his face. Okay, intermission. Only wear my weekend clothes Friday, Saturday, or game days. Game days. Woo woo. Game nights. Just for the game, game dude. Nights. Not even to school. Awesome. Are you so so? Wait, wait, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. about the jerseys? What about the jerseys? Because they're not like my jerseys. Oh, when can you wear them? You can wear them to school whenever you want. Oh, yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Because it's PE. Oh, good idea. Another yeah, good thing is try to wear um, not the same outfit every day, right? So if yeah. you wear an outfit, you maybe want to wait at least one day before you wear it again, even if it's yes. your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me five. Woo woo! Thank Love you. you. Love You're you welcome. too. I'm so excited that we don't have to fight every morning. Yeah. That's gonna be the best. All right, go play. Wait, do you like her? Oh yeah. Who's Paisley Jackson? Paisley, are you excited to get your closet done? Uh, yeah. <laughs> just came up to me and she's like, she's like, oh my gosh, Paisley, my closet is so sticky. You better go check it out. <laughs> she literally did that to me. She's <laughs> loving it. Hey guys, if you love this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and comment down below whose closet you want me to do next. I'm gonna go in and you guys better comment down below my day because like, yeah, they're, they're getting a little bit psyched. But I'm gonna go do Luke's closet right now, so here we go. It is the next morning because I was up until like, what, 11.30 last night? Luke, are you ready? Yeah. All right, it took a lot. It is time for you to look at your closet. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so much better than before. Does it? What do you think? I like it. Oh my gosh, who did this? Your wife. That looks like my closet. This is why I was up till 11.30 last night. It oh took me God. a fat minute. It looks awesome. There's cute Navy. Navy, can come look at Luke's closet. Roger White said he's gonna hide in it. Oh wow. dear. All right, so let's go through what we got you here. So this one's new and it matches these pants right here. See these cool ones right here? That matches that. And hands, <laughs> nice. This one matches these. Wait, where are they? I'm already making a mess of your closet. Matches these. And then I had forgot that you got this one on the trip to California because guess what? It was actually in your luggage. Still in the bottom. New white t-shirt. Here's all your t-shirts right here. And then this is where we were really lacking in your wardrobe. So you've got your four vests right here. Your two shirts, I got you this one. Nice. 
and this one, Ooh. and this one. Ooh. And another place you were really lacking was jeans, and so I got you these cool jeans. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> You're welcome. Those will fit you so nice. I got you a bunch of pajama sets, like just t-shirts and shorts that are comfortable. And then, dude, do you remember what we were looking for forever in our morning routine? Right here. Um, yes. And so look at this. We have you one, two, three, four pairs of pants. You can wear to school. Wow. Now you won't be looking anymore for pants. <laughs> My other ones literally ripped yesterday. They literally ripped. I don't know how. I literally like. Where are they? I want to see them. Where are they ripped? Oh. In the front. Whoa. The front of his pants ripped, people. What is up with my kids ripping their pants? I don't know, I guess those have seen their better day. Guys, comment down below if you guys want my mom to do my closet. Yeah guys, if you love this video, we will do more closets. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. And follow us on all our social media. Bye. Bye.